this thing on? Do we have a remote? Wouldn't that be nice? One of these days, we're gonna have a professional studio doing these, Chef. We're gonna have a team. We're gonna have something more than a. Uh, we probably iPad. have a script, too. Oh, we might actually talk about these before we do them. It takes all maybe, the fun maybe, out of it. Yeah, I think our spontaneity is uh, the key to our huge success. Authenticity. Huge success. 20, 22 viewers uh, uh, a week. 20, 24, but. We got yeah. this. We got this. I can't wait till we get a sponsor other than the, they're a great the sponsor, old North State. They they're are. Great they're sponsor. the best sponsor. They've been sponsoring me for almost five years. Yeah. Well, guess what, kids? This is Chris and this is Ed, and we're here for our Thursday night virtual tasting. We do it here live at 6 p.m. every Thursday in <coughs> downtown Mount Airy, except for last week we did on Saturday. It, it was a huge success. Oh, yeah. We did it down the barrel room. Awesome and venue. It was great because people would actually stop talking to listen to me talk. It was wonderful. And you only had to say everything once. Yeah. Because and when, I did you, know, lose when my you voice. have all these satellite tables on Thursday, you have to say everything mm -hmm. five times. And, I'm, and then they go, well, and course, no one listens. And no one listens. And we got. And then they asked me right after. Hey, I'm uh, what were those? What, what are we drinking? What was this? Well, you remember the guy that was standing up for five minutes talking to you? What's about? that? Yeah. What's mm -hmm. this? Yeah. And, uh, of course, my voice comes Saturday and yours as well. Mm. Oh, I, I, After two nights of Chef's go Tables. On. Which Chef's Tables have been really booming too, Chef. They have. And, uh, and they continue to and be. And they we continue got, to up. wow. They're and stacked amazing. up. We got a couple from Indiana coming in this week. They heard They heard that we're the best restaurant they in didn't heard. They didn't heard about it. And we, got a, we got a couple coming from uh, the Fancy Gap um, campground. campground. Mm -hmm. And I want to shout out to the Fancy Gap Campgrounds for uh, promoting us. Oh, they gave us a shout out. They gave us a shout out. They so gave us, shout, brought us a chef shout, table. I'm going to shout them right back. So we got an interesting, eclectic blend of people that come from all over to our chef's tables. It's not just Mount Arians. Well, I got to tell you, I'm going to let you in a little secret. Mm -hmm. We got a heck of a menu lined up for this weekend. Well... Chef table, we're bringing, the, we're bringing the thunder. Last week was ridiculous, dude. Last week was ridiculous. But guess what? That was last week. Yeah. What about This that? is a new week, and I'm amused by the simplicity of last week, and I'm doubling down this week. There's no way that you can top that terrain of poached leeks, rabbit, and duck confit. Or, I'm sorry, when I wasn't, it wasn't duck. It was, it was rabbit pheasant. confit. Was it? It, it, was, it was the uh, brined... Um, the brined and, and poached Poussin. Poussin, I'm sorry. Yeah, with Poussin. the rabbit cold feet. That was we, we, with we, poached we, And we served that. that Riesling, right? And we served, yeah, we did serve that with that forge Riesling. That was great. And we did it with a Trimbach one time, too. Trimbach one time. Um, anyway, Over if top. you haven't done the chef's table you did, or you yeah. haven't done it lately, it's only getting better. It's crazy. And we never, never repeat. I say we, I mean him. I'm just, we, it's we. I just, it's a I collaboration. Just watch, I just watch him do it. That's that's not really how it goes down, folks. Mr. Mm -hmm. Humble over here. I drink wine. Mm -hmm. um, the wine is, is such a huge component, and, it, and the genius mm -hmm. is on display. This cat does things that you just can't imagine in your wildest dreams. Um, Jeff, this is delicious. Have you tried it? Uh, yeah, well, I'm, I'm sorry I have. Uh, because I, I've got a powerful thirst today. I just took the trash out down in the dumpster. It's 100 degrees. Yeah. Threw all the trash in the back of my truck like I do every day. Turned the truck on. It was 100 degrees. Oh, yeah. I bet it was roast in there. And, I mean, you know, been sitting out there in the sun all day. Mm -hmm. Drove around, threw the trash, came back. And I'd, I'd worked up a powerful thirst. Of course, we had another huge lunch today. Got run over. Unbelievable. Well, it was like a Saturday. I mean, got here early, sweating all day, mm -hmm. getting beat up all day. Then the coup de gras down there at the dumpster. So I was ready for a cool, crisp glass yeah. of wine. So I'm sorry. I did start early. You didn't today. fall in the dumpster this time, did you? Did you mind your business? Okay. You well, ask a lot of questions. I got to tell you, Chef, this reminds me. Let's talk about wine. You know what this reminds me of is at the chef's table, we had a... Um, a white Beaujolais. I don't know if you remember mm -hmm. that. I do remember um, that. I think it was, I can't remember the producers, like Turco, maybe. It's a white uh, it was Beaujolais like, a Chablis or no? It is a Chardonnay 
but it's, it's they only make, uh, of all the wines in, in that area, 98% are Gamay Red, okay. but they do make a yeah, tiny a percent little... of Chardonnay. And uh, this, this right here is not that. <coughs> This is Excelsior from South Africa. South Africa represent. Uh, yeah, so yeah, we've been talking about these a lot. Uh, this family dates back to 1697 in the area. When they started planting vines in the winery. I think they know started, a thing or two. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, South Africa's 500 years. Yeah, blink easy. of an eye there. Easy, easy for winemaking, and the uh, this particular family. I think their winery didn't. St like officially open until like the, I want to say the 1830s. I could be wrong about that, but the vines, kind of like a village winery kind of thing. Yeah. They weren't like yeah, they're growing it. They right, were yeah. they were <clears throat> growing and drinking. Yeah. But the the Dewet uh, family goes way back. Uh, so you're talking well 300, 300 years. Gosh, that's hard to believe. But three hundred years in this area and uh, <clears throat> with wine centric values, and uh, we like that. But this wine. Um, just to jump right into it, it's incredibly mineral driven. And, and for it, a Chardonnay, you and, know, you don't really associate minerality. Well, it's, I guess maybe with some new world stuff. Well, but, the, but like an old world winery like this, that's... <clears throat> this, this, but it does remind me of that Beaujolais Blanc that uh, it was just really mineral driven. And uh, there's not a lot well, of fruit. French limestone. Yeah. yeah, it makes sense. Yeah. But, uh, where where is this lake? Is this on? A, is this a coastal South Africa? Yeah, it's. Uh, or is this the mountains? Down down the the tip the 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 the, the little uh, whoop de doo. Archipelago. It's it's not the far from the Cape. Got not it. far from. So it. this is a coastal wine, not a mountain wine. Well, most. I mean, if you think about. Well, of course, the mountains South are right Africa. off the coast. There I would South say Africa. this though, but uh, that Cedarburg is way up oh, in the mountain. Oh, that Cedarburg. That, that, and yeah. their wines tasted different than everything else. They were richer. That we've had. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but anyway, uh, let's talk about this Excelsior. And also, I want to note that this is a 2020. We've been talking about 2020s a lot uh, last week and this week. They are very fresh, you know, and you're going to get a, a really clean expression of what the winemaker had in store, <coughs> twist off. So theoretically, it's not going to change much in the bottle or certainly not improve in the bottle. And um, the, the, the theory behind the cap is that it really seals the wine. It's not going to continue to evolve as much. So that's why... Other producers so it's a time pork. capsule, in a, in, a, in, yeah. a, in a sense. Yes. But it's designed to drink. It's mm -hmm. designed oh, to yeah. buy this, and drink. This wine so, is I mean, not don't raging. age it. I mean, yeah. drink it on yeah. the way home. I mean, that's what the, they want you to do. Right. Um, exactly. But this is so mineral driven. It's so refreshing. So uh, uh, vibrant. It's a real curveball. Mm -hmm. So I took my first sip off camera uh, when we were, you know, going over our notes. And uh, where are those? <laughs> I must have missed that. Well, part I was kind of hoping you'd go along. Oh with yeah, our some notes, sort of our, preparation. Our, yeah, we we've been working on this all day. Anyway, I was sipping on it right before we hit record, and there's a real curveball because you know you Chardonnay, oh boy, and it's not tasting like Chardonnay, and then not in a bad way, in a good way. This is a um, this tastes more like a blend. It tastes it almost more ha almost has like notes of Viognier. Viognier for sure. I mean, it's just it's a great little. It's a fun. This is a fun wine. It really is. It's it a is. summertime fun wine. You can't go wrong with it. It's just a it's just a hit. Um, I mean, this is... I yeah, feel like, like this would also go great with spicy food. Well, it says here on the label we could do some Thai food or something. Oh, yeah? Or some seafood. Grilled seafood. It's crisp acidity. I would agree with that. It is and it crisp. says it's lightly uh, lightly spiced Thai chicken. Or grilled seafood. What if we did both? That'd be cool. Compare and contrast. That is really nice. But no, you're right. I mean, the, the acid, the citrus, the mineral mm. in this will stand mm. up very well to spice. Um, it will, it would, especially Thai spice, it has a lot of citrus in it. You know, Thai spice isn't spicy for the sake of being spicy, although it's, ooh, it's hot. It can be, yeah. But it's balanced. It has a lot of acid. It has, a, I mean, more so than. When you have like a traditional hot sauce, your only acid is your vinegar, you know, that would, but with Thai spice, it's always citrus. It's lime, it's orange, it's lemon, mm -hmm. it's, and, and you have fragrance. 
you have spice, you have basil. I mean, so it's, it's lemongrass. Lemongrass, yeah. absolutely perfect call. I, you know what? It's always this, so much of that. Yeah, I think this would go good with a lemongrass. Amen to that. It sure yeah. would. There is a, certainly a lemoniness to it. But I still don't. And think it's not a rind. It, it's a it's a soft lemon. It's almost like a uh, what are those little gumdrops? Oh, lemon drops yeah, or whatever. Not the like liquor the, drink lemon drop, but what are those? Uh, yeah, I know what you're talking about. But it's not like the rind <laughs> lemon that can be bitter. This is the. Are they call lemon heads. Maybe, maybe. maybe. I don't know. Anyway, what a fun wine. Mm. Anyway, and you're looking at a at a wine that costs, you know, twelve dollars. You kidding me? Twelve bucks. I mean, you can coming I mean, off the yard, coming home from work. It's less than three dollars a glass. Water in the water in the plants. Walking the dogs. Forget about it. This is a great pregame wine. Drink this before dinner, and then before you have your oh, dinner. Oh, and wine. this would be great poolside. <coughs> oh, oh, oceanside. Oceanside. Fishing side. This would be good down at the dumpster. In a boat with a goat. Yes. All these things. God, it's delicious. Mm. And and trust me, I don't say that about Chardonnay. It's delicious. Oh yeah, Chef Chris is not a big white wine drinker. He does appreciate. Actually, that I do much. like white wines. I just don't like Chardonnays. Yeah, but this doesn't taste like a Chardonnay, so it's fabulous. Now, that container shard that we had it yeah. was only a mere one hundred and fifty dollars wholesale. Oh yeah, that was that was stupid great. Yeah, and was, and of course the but it uh, didn't taste like Chardonnay. Yeah. The Louis Jodeau. The, that was the white white bones. I white think? bones. Yeah. What was that Louis Jodeau? Uh, that was that the, actually parked the, and walked back across the parking lot did. to take another sip. It was a was that a Grand Cru? It was a Grand Cru. Uh, Chablis or Premier Cru? It was a Premier Cru yeah. Chablis. <laughs> but that Catena and that Louis. But Jodeau. that was from <laughs> Fourcham. That Fourcham. Yeah, you literally. I mean, it's he had some of the best wines I've ever. Got into his car, he was packed, backing up. He put his car in park, got back out, and said, "Hey, can I get another taste?" Of I mean, because I, I couldn't believe it. I mean, it, it lasted. You know, I've never had. I've never had its equal. That, that was, and white or red, it doesn't matter. That was one of the best wines I've mm. ever had. I mean, I'm not even going to break down the, the nuance of it. It was just one of the best wines I've ever had, and that's wow. the way it should be. Yeah, I it agree. should just be wine. I mean, whether it's whatever it is. And I think this would be really good with calamari. We need to get some more of that Rhode Island squid in. Yeah, that was that good stuff. Good. That's really good stuff. Well, what are you gonna throw at this, Chef? I think I'm gonna do a, a spicy grilled Thai chicken <laughs> fish. <laughs> hey, uh, do you like that stir fry sauce I made last couple weeks? Mm -hmm. I think we're gonna. I think we're gonna do that. That'd be nice. Um, you know, that has red chilies. It has lots of lime juice, cilantro. Yeah. Um, lots of citrus. I mean, I think it will be a perfect fit for this. A little spice, mm -hmm. but it's balanced. It's balanced with the citrus and the, and the herbaceousness of the cilantro. Um, it's surprising that it has 14%. 14, it doesn't taste like it. It does not taste It doesn't like have an ounce of alcohol. heat. I mean, it tastes like a Sprite. Yeah. I mean, it, not in a bad way. I just yeah, mean, like it, it's, it's like, like it, you it don't is know you're zero drinking. alcohol. Yeah, I mean, you know. zero alcohol in the palate. It tastes like wine essence. Mm. Um, I, I don't know how that's 14%. That's crazy. Um, what a, this is a great value, kids. Yeah, yeah I mean, you're going to be so pleased when you taste this. I think it's just going to be a real treat, especially with this uh, stifling heat we're enduring right now. Yeah. That is super refreshing. So you're going to make a little stir fry, Chef? Yeah, we're going to do a little stir fry with uh, scallop. I think a scallop with that spice sauce would be great. It would be wonderful. Yeah. I've got some beautiful local veg. I was chopping it all this afternoon in between tickets. Um, it's all going to be like a curry ratatouille. Like a red curry ratatouille, not an Indian curry. Throw a little curry ratatouille with a That sounds scallop. great. That's yeah. good. You should see the bounty we got from Minglewood today. Zephyr squash, zucchini. Uh, we got a bunch of uh, beautiful uh, bulb onions from York Farm. Uh, we got eggplant from oh, Minglewood. Those, those eggplants. They're I gorgeous. Did see those. I did some uh, roasted tomatoes. Uh, we got some beautiful garlic from Wavery Crest Farm. Anyway, it's going to be a real fragrant, fresh um, red curry ratatouille with a seared scallop. I think it's going to be a real treat. Only the best for our guests, right? 
You spoil them, chef. Well, this is uh, quite a contrast. We're going to a big red. This is from the Zaccardi family. They Thank are you. a huge name and they're right up there. Uh, I would say they're just right behind the Catania name as far as big names. Are they in relation to the Zucchini family? Uh, oh no, Zaccardi, I'm sorry. Uh, close though, very close. This is their Series A uh, Malbec. I know we got a lot of Malbec lovers out there and we are delivering you one today. And uh, that little James Suckling Award. How about there. that? 92. And Suckling doesn't like to hand out those 92s That's either. right. You got a wonderful rating there. Is it, if you don't believe the things we say, just ask James Suckling. He'll tell you. He knows a thing or two. <laughs> well, right away, this is a big, big fruit, Chef. And uh, We black or red on this. I, w I will say... Black, red, or blue. I will say this, Chef. There's definitely black and blue. On Just in time for the on Fourth the of July. Hey, happy Fourth, everybody! To our, happy hey, birthday, cheers, America! Cheers to the greatest country! Happy birthday, America! I'm proud to be an American. I don't mm -hmm. care what anybody says. Nowhere you'd rather be, right? So, this is a a, a more complex public than than often that you're going to get. Um, people like Malbecs for their simplicity. Uh, which is great. You know, they're fruity and they're not as tannic as Cabernets. That's why they've grown in such popularity. Zuccardi is, tends to be a little more complex across the board for their wines. And surprisingly, their wines are always incredibly affordable. I mean, I don't know how they do it. I don't either. Uh, they do an excellent job of delivering, over-delivering, I would over -delivering. say, for, for their Absolutely. price points. I've been a fan of Zuccardi for a very long time. Um... You know, it's that, that Santa Julia that we did. Oh, the bubbles. Santa Julia. So and that, that just keeps coming. Oh, yeah. I yeah. mean, that never gets old. Yeah, and they, that's their organic line. And um, you, even their, in, that, that is like a... a Entry level. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, but unbelievable stuff for the price. <coughs> you know, you're not going to... doesn't taste like it. Right. So on the nose, like we said, black and blue. Definitely black and blue. Probably some... I, I have to get a plum. I'm getting the plum. I'm getting a cherry. Mm. What's a dark cherry for it, me? It, it is a... Uh, boy, this is a rich wine. It, it lingers. I love wines that linger. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of wines, you taste them, they die. It's I mean, interesting not, how fruity it is on the front. And then on the back side... It just has a long, lingering finish. The, flavor, the tannins the bubble tannins at the end. The start to seal the t your tongue to the roof of your mouth. Don't take your second sip too fast. Let, let it work its magic. You're just going to enjoy You can almost wine. taste the grain of the wood of the barrel. You know what I'm saying? Like it's like if you if you don't, you know what I mean? Like you can almost like you licked the barrel. It Damn, is Damn son, that's the wood, a, that's an amazing description. The wood transfer to it here is so <coughs> it's like authentic wood. You know what I mean? It's just uh, Amen. It's that not is, it's not like that a, is fabulous. Sometimes uh to me oak just turns into these vanilla bombs. And uh, new oak, especially, yeah, yeah, yeah. But this tastes more in the wood department than the vanilla. There is vanilla here, but it, it's, oh, it's, it's subtle, not, it's yeah. so subtle. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't bring up vanilla in the first six things I would describe mm -hmm. about this, mm -hmm. even though it's there, <clears throat> it's more like a platform. You know what? I, now that you mentioned the reds, I'm getting some cranberry in here too. Absolutely, like a, a dried like a, cranberry. Yeah, not a fresh, yeah. a dried cranberry because yeah. it's, it's. I mean, this is an intense wine. I mean, yeah. this is fabulous. Yeah, but it definitely uh, has dried fruits. I, all I, over I it. think it is. Let me double check. Just to be on the safe side, he's going to take another. Well, I mean, we, we, we people are out there buying wine on a regular They're count, They're counting on you, chef. And they're, so if I, if we deliver, especially you know my expert trade, which is zero, uh, you know it needs to be spot on. Well, somehow, this is saying that it's only 13.9, but I will say this. I believe it. I don't know, man. Those tears are slow going. Yeah, well, I'm not saying there's not all the indicators. I'm saying it doesn't drink hot. I would agree with you on that, Sheffy. There's, there's, I mean, all there's, the indicators are there, but 
Man, oh man. Look how sluggish those guys are. This is so soft. They're just puttering. Look at them. They got, they're in no hurry. They got nowhere to go. They got That's nothing bad. to do. Lazy. They're probably getting a government check. Look at how slow those two are. Look at them. So I that's, that's generally a sign of higher alcohol. And I will say this, at the 14% level, It tastes taxed. less than this. They're, oh, yeah, it does, yeah. At 14%, wineries are taxed more. They get a, they have a higher tax rate. That 13 so is you, coming in handy. Yeah. Oh, no, the it's radar, it, no. under the radar. It's not 14. It's, no, thir no, no, it's 13. No, nine. no, no. Yeah. 13. Nine. Are you kidding me? Now, I know everybody cheats on their taxes. I mean, not me, of course, but other people. You file taxes? Oh, man. I need to look into that. I wish there was a choice to not. Well, actually, if you never did, you still pay enough tax. Just <laughs> living. Tell me about everywhere that. Everywhere you turn. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But just remember, we're free. We're free to pay more taxes. It's the American way. But all joking aside, I think you're going to find this to be a very complex Malbec. I would say it's a fancy dinner Malbec. It most certainly is. It's this not is like a... that French, it's not like a front porch sipper Malbec. This is Ooh, more no, of no, like no. a. No, this is complex. This, yeah. I, think, I think this will benefit. This needs to be paired. Yeah, I think it'll benefit from the food. And I think it'll age. Oh, it's I mean, very, how could this not get better? It's got good acidity. It's very grippy. I mean, this it's, has all the trademarks that you could lay it You down. just don't expect that from an under $20 Malbec. I mean, it's just... It's, I'm sorry, what was that? Yeah, I know, right? It's under 20 bucks. $19.99? Today like and today 13, only. Like the $13.99? Right. Under 14 <laughs> Right. But, uh, yeah, I mean, if you're looking for a Malbec that isn't... Is this under 20 bucks? Yeah. For reals? Mm -hmm. It drinks like it's much, How much do we fun. have here? Well. Oh, you got to use it for the tasting. Man. I mean, I'm probably, I can probably get you some more, Chef. Get it while it lasts. Yeah. Because old Chef, Chefy Poo is going to swoop in here and mm -hmm. be uh, purchasing, if you know what I mean. Hmm. Wow. And the more it sits here, Chef, the I, I feel like the fruits originally were more like um, fruit punches, you know, like a blending. Now they're starting to kind of peel back and show themselves as individual fruits. Does that make sense? It, it absolutely does. And, you know, the second glass, a little aeration, is getting more centered. Yeah. Um, no, it, it absolutely makes sense. I love the dryness of this wine. I do too. I love the, uh, the hill. Yeah, because yeah, you get the big, you get the big fruit, mm -hmm. and it goes up and go. Oh, it's gonna be a pretty one. Nope, and you come down, yeah, you get really that nice. tannin pool. Yeah, and it's so, but it's so soft. I mean, yeah. it's so round, and it's like, it's the butterfly tannins. It's not the, it's not the the bat tannins. The butterfly tannins are where you, you know, they kind of flutter around your whole mouth. Where you know, a big tannin wine will just attack your lower, and just kind of give you cotton mouth. Mm -hmm. But these just are fluttering. Tannins. This is a fine wine. You say it's under twenty bucks. Yeah, Zuccardi. Again, over deliver. Over delivers. Uh, because we, we I mean, trusted that's, them there, for a long a, time. Yeah, there, there's so much happening in this glass. Um, there's so much happening. I think you folks at home are going to really enjoy this. I sure hope you're enjoying it. Um, I hope it's uh, not out of your wheel well to have a Malbec with this. But like I said, but you're I mean, right. It's a fine one. And, this is and, not and a. This get, is not a pound. To get that score from an inexpensive wine, it really has to exceed what I would say its price point. It ha I mean, it, well, just to get the attention. Yeah. I mean, to you got to show out. Yeah. To, I mean, like eighty-eight is like. Dude, I was. That's thinking, where you hang your hat. If you are an under twenty-dollar wine. You hang your hat on 88. If you get an 88, it's like well, you, yeah. you've reached the pinnacle. Yeah. And like when you go to the wine shop and you see that 88 on that value, yeah. that value You're shelf. You're all over it. Yeah. I yeah. mean, you've made you've made the big time. 92. Yeah. And, you know, I was looking at, uh, of course, you know, I wish I don't. I wish I didn't look at all those high dollar ones. But I was looking at some, you know, Ooh, Brunello's. Shopping. Yeah, you know. Seventy-five. I've been a good boy. I might treat myself. Those Brunellos are getting ratings of ninety-two. 
and they're yeah. quadruple, quadruple, at least sixfold the price. So, again, bang for the buck. That's what we do. We we bring it. That's your specialty, Ed. All right, now here's the big question. Everybody's on the edge of their seat. Who are you gonna get them to eat with this? We're doing a uh, sea salt and uh, uh, crushed espresso crusted duck. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Count it. And you know what I made with it? I did a rendered bacon, balsamic, and poached cranberry relish. How about them apples? It sounds So we're going to pick up on the cranberry. Yep. We're going to accentuate the acid with the balsamic. Yep. The coffee on the rub sure. is really toasty, going to toasty, smoky. the smoky, the leather. Mm -hmm. It's going to bring that all out. The sea salt is going to open up. Salt is a tool, and salt opens up our our sensories to allow the flavors to come in. Salt isn't a flavor. Salt intensifies the other flavors. So I think this is going to be a home run. The beautiful wine deserves a beautiful dish, in my opinion. That is a beautiful dish, sir. It's a beautiful Spoiling wine. Spoiling them run. That's what we do. Well, if you want to taste wines with us on Thursdays, we're here at 6 p.m. We get cranked up, and I guess now we're going to be in a barrel room. Barrel room. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's like the venue. That, that's the way to go. Yeah. and uh, It's so cool down there, too. It's awesome. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the heat of the summer, it's always like 55, 60 degrees down there. Uh, the lighting is beautiful. It's a great mm -hmm. ambiance here. Surrounded by barrels. Mm -hmm. This beautiful man right here. I mean, you can't go wrong. Yeah, we had a really good time uh, Saturday night doing it down there. So I think we're going to roll with that for a while. And um, it, it certainly is hard to compete with the sound of the dining room. Uh, most of y'all that have been here have in the bar. With that. Yeah, the and the bar. Loud. The bar I mean, is you're, right. you're assaulted from mm -hmm. so many uh, different yep. areas. And, uh, you know, you probably don't like to be yelled at. So this will be, a, a, I think, a, just a smoother presentation. Maybe a better home. Yeah. A better home for it. It's, it's a, a lot, proper home, too. It's a lot more work for us because we're running up and down the stairs. Well, but, you know, I need for. the workout. That's what we do. That's I need what we're here for. Yeah. yeah, so. You could run 4.5 miles instead of 5. Right. And just yeah. save the rest for the. Yeah. Well, we got a couple of young cats too. We need to let them do a little more of your heavy lifting. Yeah, we only have You're a couple of those, Chef. I know. I As a matter of fact, well, I probably can't even say this. That you're There's a lot of wish sharks here. There's a lot of wish sharks here, and they're definitely not underage. No. That's illegal. Right, we wouldn't do that. But there's a lot of co workers here that are not. I mean, the paperwork, I mean, it's just. Yeah. Do you want your table cleaned or not? Hmm. I tell you what, yes or no? Those wish arts are hard workers. We appreciate having them. Well, so I'll if tell you want to come see somebody really cute uh, at the host stand, come come see us at the restaurant. And um, you know, my step boy is pretty cute too. Yeah, and he's doing a great job. He's working like three different he's working, jobs here. Yeah. He's been dish. He's been prep. He's host. Yeah, he's doing it all. And I've got uh, my he's, youngest he's a pleasure to work with. I've got my youngest daughter. She's uh, excelling. We, uh, you know, you get away with a lot in my house. It's that work ethics kind of thing. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta work. Well, gotta work. You gotta work hard. You gotta give it. And, you know, all the other stuff, I don't make a big deal out of yeah. because, I mean, life's too short. But uh, you gotta bring it. And, and uh, these kids are bringing it this summer. It's hot. We're understaffed. Uh, every shift is nuts. And so, I, I, I mean, mad respect. To, uh, to the Wish Heart Eats clan there for bringing it this mm -hmm. summer under yeah. a very uh, uh, awkward environment. No training, hot, just, different, just, just like you do. Throw them in there, and guess what? They're flourishing. Doing a great job. Because that's what we do. And we, uh, we, we're, we're so proud of our of what we have left here, <laughs> the staff that we have left. And uh, yeah. um, it's never lost on us, the, the level of devotion. Uh, that it takes to do this job is exhausting yeah, mentally you know, and physically. If you know uh, any uh, cooks, servers, hosts, bartenders, anything like that, anything, send them. We're hiring. We're hiring, and we're, we're hiring on the spot too. By the way, I mean we're not even gonna run a 
background check on you. You, yes. you walk in the door, you're hired. Yep, that's basically uh, it. Send them, if somebody wants a job, send them to us. We're going to hire them. Well, we're not going to be, uh, we're going to be here every week. Well, we're, yeah. we're, we we are, love our job. We, we don't do it for a paycheck. We do it yeah. because we love it's, it's just this. Really, it's really, really hard right now, but we're going to get through it. We'll get through it. And we appreciate y'all supporting the restaurant and being patient with the restaurant. Thank you for your patience. We are uh, spread very thin, and I appreciate everyone's patience when it comes time to ordering and picking up wines and picking up food or, or making just orders. dealing with us in general. Mm -hmm. It requires a, a different level of patience this yep. year, and we, we appreciate it very we, much. We know it's hard. We appreciate your patience. Hey, cheers. Happy July 4th. Happy birthday, America. We're going to do it uh, this weekend. Lots of fireworks and lots of, hopefully, lots of wine. Just don't do any fireworks around me. My dogs hate it. Mm. I think fireworks are overrated. Yeah. If you don't have a uh, armada with cannons, don't shoot off fireworks. You're just going to mess up all the puppies. Those poor puppies. Yeah, I took Jerry you know, to the gun range when she was a puppy. Yeah. So never bothered her. Right. Yeah, you got to get to them. Yeah, if you, don't, if you don't, like, take your puppy and go out and them around shotguns and things or when they're young yeah they're just gonna be a wreck forever but anyway it's all well and good yep be careful with all those pooches and fireworks we'll see you next week thank you see y'all yay